Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the sixth elementary grade. Our textbook is Weekend 3, and today, inshallah, we will cover Unit 8 Lives, Ups and Downs, Grammar on page 60. So, this lesson will be presented by me, Teacher Mazina Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Saleh Al Ajan. So, let's begin. A quick revision on our last lesson. In our last lesson, we had an interesting question to answer which is, what are the good or bad things that happened to you last year? So we said that after viewing a few examples, just try to think of the things that happened to you uh, last year or in the past and just say whether they are good or bad things. And we said as well, in order to help you think of uh, uh, this sentence or this question, and in order to help you with this question is to listen to a few examples. And this is exactly what we did, which is that we listened to a few examples and after this we stopped and we think again, or we thought again of the, this question about the good things and the bad things that happened to us last year. So let's just remind ourselves first of the good things. So, we said that we mentioned five sentences with the good things and five other sentences with the bad things. So, let's re uh, remind ourselves of these uh, sentences. I'm going to read the, the first one and I'm going to read it again and I would like you to read it with me as well. So, the first sentence we have uh, as a good thing is number one. I won a table tennis game 21 to 3. Say with me, I won a table tennis game 21 to 3. So winning a game is of course, as we said, something good. And this is one of the good things. Number two, I got first place in a race. Say with me, I got first place in a race. So, winning a race or gotten in the uh, first place in any game or race is of course a good thing. Number three, I was team captain. I was Team captain. Also, one of the good things is that when you are a captain or a leader on a team, this makes you uh, the, um, the perfect player or maybe the experienced uh, player. Number four, I made a rocket. I made a rocket. Also, Making something is something good. Whether you're making a rocket or making any other object, this is always a good thing. And number five, I saw a rainbow. I saw a rainbow. So also, when you see or when you see like changes of weather, like for example, a rain, or a rainbow. So all of these are of course one of the good things that people usually remember. So here you go. Whether seeing a rainbow or winning a game or being in the first place in a game or a race or being a team captain or making object. All of these are examples of the good things. So now, can you remember a good thing or something good happened to you last year? As if you remember, I did ask you to try to write down the good things that happened to you and make it simple as these examples. And now we're going to move on to the other part of our lesson, last lesson, which is talking about the bad things. And before thinking of any bad thing, let's just few examples 
few some examples about the things that uh, happen to people which are considered to be a bad thing. So, for example, number six, we lost a football game A to zero. Say with me, we lost a football game eight to zero. Number seven, I caught a cold. I caught a cold. And of course, uh, caughting a disease is always something bad. And even losing a game is also something bad. Number eight, my dad had an operation. My dad had an operation. So this is also one of the bad things when the people who are close to us go to hospitals. And uh, number nine, I broke my leg. I broke my leg. Also, when we, uh, when we got hurt in our body parts, this is also one of the bad things. And number 10, we were stuck in an elevator. We were stuck in an elevator. So this is also a bad thing when we are in an awkward situation like this, whether we, are, uh, we got lost in some place or we were, uh, got stuck in an elevator, all of these are among the bad things that we don't wish to have or we don't anyone to have as well. So, whether we are losing a game or whether we getting sick or we see people who we love getting sick as well or we broke or we injured uh, or we uh, uh, got hurt in one of our body parts and if we are stuck in these situations, these all considered as bad things. So, let me ask you again. Can you now think of a, a bad thing that happened to you last year? And uh, similar to these examples that we read together. If you do, then it is always a good idea to try to write down these things on your notebook and try to make it as simple as these sentences. So, we said last time that all of these verbs, whether we used in the good things or the verbs that we use in the bad things. So in the good things, for example, verbs like one, got, was, made, saw, or the verbs in the bad things like uh, lost, caught, had, broke, where all of them are called the irregular verbs. Yes, they are used in the past, but they are considered to be irregular verbs. And if you remember, in Unit 7, we learned something we called regular verbs, where we add ed to each of the verbs. But here it's different. Here we have something we called irregular verbs, where each of the verbs uh, have uh, its own form in the past. So not only this, but we also learn how to ask a question and also to, to give or make a comment. So we did listen to questions like this. What happened to you yesterday? When you we ask someone, maybe your partner, your classmate, your friends or a family member, what happened to you last year? And when he respond or when he answers by saying something good like, I won a tennis game. Or maybe he can answer with a bad thing like, like saying, I lost a game. So whether we heard a good thing or a bad thing, it's always important that we make a comment. So here in the examples we've shown here is we make a good comment like congratulations. So here as well, we also uh, practiced on five different comments. And we said that some of these comments used when we hear something good and some of them used when we hear uh, bad or something bad. 
So let's re just remind ourselves one more time with these comments. So the first comment we have here is congratulations, congratulations, which is a comment that we use or we make when we hear something good. And the second one, so did I, so did I, which is a comment that we use when uh, we hear something good. Number three, how nice, how nice, which is a comment as well when we hear something good. Let's move on to number four and five, as they are the comments we use for bad things. Number four is, sorry about that, sorry about that, which is, this is the type of comments we use when we hear something bad, and for number five, how scary, how scary. This is also the type of comment we use when we hear something bad. So all of these examples we can use when we hear something either good or bad and make a comment. So now let us talk about our objectives in today's lesson. In today's lesson we hope at the end of it you will be able to make sentences using past tense irregular verbs and also to chant past tense irregular verb chunks chant. Now, I would like you please to open your books on page 60. I would like you please to open your books on page 60. Now, on page 60, you're going to see a list of verbs, uh, or a list of different uh, uh, phrases. And what I want you to do to listen at each of these phrases and to, we practice it together. So, as you can see here, we have only one verb, which is the verb one. And the verb one is a type of irregular verbs. A type of irregular verbs. And the idea behind this table is we can use wherever subject pronoun we can use with irregular verbs without making any changes. So I can talk about myself and say, I won. And I uh, to can talk about you. And I would say, you won. And I can talk about someone else by saying, he won or she won. And I can talk about me and you. We won. Also, I can talk about a group of people by saying, they won. So no matter who we are talking about, either myself or you or other people, uh, we use the same verb. We use the same verb. As you can see here, one is not changing. One is not changing. So we can use it uh, no matter who we are talking about. Now, it is time for chant. The chant that is called past tense irregular verb chunks. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to read the verbs first and then we're going to use the verbs in sentences. And after this, after reading uh, them, I would like you to repeat after me when I read these uh, sentences. So let's begin by listening to the first uh, part. Number one, lost, lost. I lost a tennis match. Say with me. Lost, lost. I lost a tennis match. Number two, one, one. We won a football game. Say with me, one, one. We won a football game. Number three, got got. I got to a hundred points in a computer game. Say with me. Got, got. I got to a hundred points in a computer game. Number four. Was, was. I was sick. 
Say with me, was, was. I was sick. Number five, made, made. I made a tree house. Say with me, made, made. I made a tree house. Number six, saw, saw. I saw a rainbow. Say with me, saw, saw. I saw a rainbow. Number seven, caught, caught. I caught a big fish. Say with me, caught, caught. I caught a big fish. Number eight, had, had. We had a cake. Had, had. We had a cake. Number nine, broke, broke. I broke my glasses. Broke, broke. I broke my glasses. Number ten, wear, wear. We were happy. Say with me, wear, wear. We were happy. So, all of these are a chant that is we call the past tense chant, where we did the practice pronouncing uh, the uh, certain verbs and the past forms. And these verbs are called the irregular verbs. And now, let us move on to the third exercise we have, which is listen and practice, then do it in pairs. So here we have a list of irregular verbs, and what we're going to do is we're going to see the verb as in the present and how to uh, say it in the past in irregular form. So I'm going to point and say it, and I would like you to listen and practice with me. So the first one is when. In the past, it will be one. When, one. Number two, lose. Lose, lost. Lose, lost. Number three, get, got. Get, got. Number four, am, was, is, was. So we can use both. Make, made. Make, made. See, saw. See, saw. Catch, caught. Catch, caught. Have or has, had. Have, had. Break, broke. Break, broke. Are, where, are, where. So, it is important that we practice these uh, verbs in their irregular forms. So, at the end, it's important that we say at least the best form of six irregular verbs and say two sentences using the past tense uh, of irregular verbs. So now, my dear student, we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.